welcome back to Bobtail Videos. So, for the video today, I am replacing one of these. This here is a shifter linkage off of a 2002 Dodge Ram 1500 four wheel drive. The shifter linkage here is going to the transfer case. It's a manual shifting transfer case, not a push button. It's a 4x4 four four on the floor. And uh, it's a very easy replace. Um, can't get this off of here, but uh, in the right lighting, you can see this has a rubber grommet on it. Now there's supposed to be two of them, but one of them fell off of mine due to decay. So I'm replacing the whole arm. Looks like junk. And like I said, it's a very easy replace. Uh, just all you gotta do is pull these little rubber grommets out of the arms to transfer case and the shifter and you're pretty much all set from there so we put the new grommets in you want to uh, put the grommets in before you put the arms in put the shifter linkage through the grommet like this you want to put these grommets in the arms and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute once I find uh, a wrench I can use. Tighten that up with. Now, <clears throat> that one's a little too big. That one's a little too small. I wonder if a 12 millimeter would work. I'm thinking it's a 13. It looks like a 13. It's a 13. So now I gotta find my 13. Because you know what they say if it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it must be a duck, right? <clears throat> No, I could spend all day looking for that, or I can just use the trusty adjustable. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this while I make my way back down to the truck. Alright, I'm up underneath the truck here. I don't know if you can see that. And here's the shifter arm. It's got a little hole on the side. Push that rubber grommet through. And then push a little, push the linkage through. This is uh, what shifts the transfer case from too high to four high, and every which in between. Um, now, all I gotta do is tighten this thing up. And from looking, from looking at the other control, the other shifter linkage, they should be the about area for the uh, shifter being too high. Everything's uh, just about right on it. Now, I'm not at all worried about torque on this. I'm just going to get it nice and snugged up to where it won't move or come loose. But uh, if you guys are worried about torque, uh, it's very easy to find out what the torque specs are for this thing. 
Uh, there might not be any torque specs for it. I'm not sure. I haven't tried finding them. Now remember, when it comes to me, I'm just going to snug it up really good, which is what I got. I ain't moving. I might want to snug it up a little bit more though. And uh, I've come to find when doing YouTube videos, it's not easy doing them underneath of a pickup truck. All right. That's going to do it for me. Now, I just recently got a text back from a potential employer. He hasn't heard anything back from the insurance company yet, so that might be a no-go. But it's okay because I got another job waiting for me. Uh, I need a job as soon as possible, so... Here before long, I might be rebuilding transmissions. But, uh, uh that's going to, I'm going to, that's not going to conclude my video yet. I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to hop in the trunk, in the truck, and see how it shifts. So, bear with me. Alright, I'm back in the truck. And, uh, we're going to see how, or have an astigmatism. Plus. we better turn down the radio, we're going to see how she shifts. Alright, so I'm going to put her in neutral, or drive, whatever. Alright, downshift to four wheel high, two high. I'm going to shift in the neutral, shut her off. Uh oh. Four low. Start her up. First gear. Reverse. I was playing with the shifter a little bit. It seemed a little like it might be a little off or something. I'm not sure. Too high. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down somewhere where we can uh, shift it freely and uh, see how she works. There's a little dirt road down here or I can shift it freely and that's where we're gonna go so it seems fine it might be off just a hair uh, we'll adjust that later if it is um, I'm going to need a second pair of hands so I can monitor that while they're up here shifting it. But, uh, until we can get that second pair of hands, you know, we're just, we're just free, free balling here. 
and uh, try to get stuff done. So, must make sure that this ain't paved over or nothing. Seems fine. Seems like this is a place where we might be able to shift from four high to two high and vice versa. Ah. Uh, seems like a good spot to do it now, so I'm gonna do uh, four high. Seems as smooth as butter. Back down to two high. Seems all right. So far, so good. What I really need to find is a place where uh, I can just head out into a field and drive around a little field whenever I'm doing repair videos such as this one. So, I hope this guy doesn't get upset if I turn around on his property. He might, but I'm not sure. So we might not have a choice but to uh, but to uh, turn around in this field over here. So. We'll just wait and see, huh? Or we could just blast this whole thing in reverse. I mean, how many times exactly can you say you've driven a whole road in reverse, right? So, sorry about that, guys. Turns out I had a button when I was trying to show you guys I was going in reverse. So I do apologize for that. Uh, this is the disadvantage of having to use a cell phone for videos. But it's okay. No harm, no foul. Pick it back up. But, uh, yeah, I did half the road in reverse, which is good. I mean, like I said, how many of you guys can say you can do a whole road in reverse? I know a lot of people that can't do that. Um, a lot of people just look behind them and just go on with their lives, but I check my mirrors and watch my mirrors when going in reverse because that helps, uh, that helps me determine where I'm at on the road whether or not I'm getting too close to uh, the edge. So, I'm gonna come down here. I typically wear the, uh, I don't know if I wanna come down here. It's where they play football, so that's town property. I don't wanna tear up town property, but I just seen I just seen a truck that I would like to have, but unfortunately I'm not big enough on YouTube yet to uh, be uh, doing videos like that. I mean, I would love to get big enough on YouTube, do restoration videos or whatever, be able to come out here, pick this truck up or whatever and uh, make a muscle truck out of it or, you know, just pick up any kind of car and, you know, build a car up. Uh, hopefully, one day, I'll be, uh, big enough on YouTube to do that. I would really love to go down to SEMA. I would really love to, um, build a car for SEMA. But, uh, that's gonna be something we're gonna have to wait for. 
Um, because right now, I ain't got that kind of money. Uh, but, uh, if you can see that, that's a nice, uh, looks like a late 80s Dodge. Maybe early 90s. It would be nice to have. But, this is going to conclude my video. Four-wheel drive works out just fine. Everything works out just fine. Uh, it's a little sketchy when you're trying to shift into four-load. That might have to be something we're going to have to adjust later on. But that's something that uh, we'll get to later on. Um, but the shifter linkage works out great. It's just... Uh, regular old doorman shifter linkage so I'm happy about that and uh, we'll see you in the next video uh, you never know what you're gonna find on Bobtail videos so please like share subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video Bobtail out